I'm Laura Muir. I am a research curator at the Harvard Art Museums, and I'm here to participate in the Collecting Bauhaus conference. For me, the Bauhaus is not a movement, it's not a style, it's not you know, the architecture or abstract painting, um, but for me it's really this uh, incredibly inspiring idea and spirit, um, this uh, very innovative experiment in art education. Also, I think the idea of uh, this kind of utopian aspiration and trying this attempt to make this utopian aspiration of remaking the world after the destruction of the First World War, kind of making life better for everyone, uh, making that a reality, I think is, is very inspiring. And also uh, just bringing together this, this kind of talent and diversity um, together for a shared purpose at this particular moment in time, I think that's truly unique and very inspiring. The Harvard Art Museum is the home to the Busch Reisinger Museum, uh, which began to collect Bauhaus material in the 1930s, as early as the 1930s, and has um, continued to collect to this day. But there was really a major initiative in the 1930s um, after the arrival of Walter Gropius at Harvard in 1937, and then especially after the Second World War, when the Busch Reisinger Museum um, worked with Gropius and also many uh, former Bauhaus artists, many who had come to the United States, who helped establish this Bauhaus collection um, at Harvard University, which is now the largest collection of its kind outside of Europe. I think certainly the Hannes Meyer years are something that deserve more attention and as a result of the centennial I think more people are actually looking at that period. There are some new publications and new research that's very exciting. For me I think the, the work of the women artists at the Bauhaus and particularly the weaving workshop still deserves more attention. Um, Ani Albers, uh, Günther Stutzel, but also especially Otti Berger, I think is an important artist that um, deserves more attention in the future. And finally, uh, Lucia Moholy and um, her work in kind of constructing the identity of the Bauhaus through her photographic work um, deserves more attention.